In this question, I'm going to take this number that's written in scientific notation and convert it to standard form. To do this, I'm going to have to jump the decimal. I'm going to have to jump the decimal five times. The question is, am I going to jump it to the right or to the left? Well, in other videos we've talked about the negative number here reminds us that it's a small number because negative numbers are smaller than positive numbers. A small number, in this case a decimal number, is going to have a 0, 0.00 something. That means in order to get a 0, 0.0 something, we're going to have to jump our decimal this way because if we jumped it the other way, we would end up with a very large number. So I'm going to take my decimal and I'm going to jump it five places to the left. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll make that big and blue so that you can see that that is where my decimal has jumped to. Now I need to fill in these troughs right here with zeros. So a zero, 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 zero. And that is going to be our final answer with the exception of we're no longer going to have this time sent to the negative five. So our final answer becomes 0 0.000021. Now you may be asking, there wasn't a zero in front. Why did I put it here? It actually doesn't affect the value at all. The important thing is that we have one, two, three, four zeros right here, and we have one, two, three, four zeros here. So we have the answer in standard form. Remember, when you have a negative exponent, your answer is going to look like this. Negatives are small and decimals are small.